Hey, Mom. Get a glass of water. Hi, Sabina. Get a glass of water. Yes, it's gonna be. everybody doing say hello let me know who's here get your water we're gonna do some stuff with water and if you haven't looked up Emoto yet in the research he's done I highly recommend it because this goes along with that and it'll go along with like when I say when you have um, anger or frustration towards other people you understand and then we're gonna do something with water so this will be good. So, get your water if you haven't yet. Have a glass of water. And if you're watching the replay, go ahead and pause it and go get your water. And um, then we'll talk. So for those that don't know me, I'm Tracy Gorick. I'm a healing coach, energy healer, spiritual mentor, intuitive channel. All of that is what helps me work so well with my clients because I use every single bit of that. Um, so, that being said, we're going to talk about, if you have any questions on that, you know, have things that's going on with you that you want to look at. When people have undiagnosed illness, that's why I did go that way for a little bit, but now I want to encompass everything. I didn't want to just work on that. Um, I... take that and I use my intuition I go in and I can see what's going on in the body to see what's causing the problems with people so um, sometimes it takes a couple of times before we really get to it but um, most times I can get it pretty quickly so that being said today I wanted to talk let's play with water I want to talk about water so if you haven't looked up Emoto um, and think of his first name. If you put that in, it's going to bring it up. He did studies with water and he took the crystals from water and he would uh, blow them up on a slide to look at them. And when he had water that you would talk hate and anger to, there, the crystals would be not, they'd be deformed and not very pretty. But the ones that were love and in high, even like so high music, you know, like high vibration music, it would have these beautiful snowflake looking crystals, right? And so we're 80% water and that's where it's important to understand um, why things can affect us. So when you get anger and frust angry and frustrated with people and you send them that, they can feel it and it causes people, it can cause you problem and that's where, you know, the protection comes in. But that's where it causes the problem is we are 80% water. So when you're sending that anger and negativity, they can affect, it, it can affect people or same thing when people send it at you. So that's why you want to keep you yourself strong and um, protected. 
because you can get that from others or you can send it. So you want to, again, be careful about what you're sending. So one thing, and I, I don't remember, Sabina, if I did it in the Reiki class or not. Um, that might be something that I do in, th in the, the third one. Um, but we're going to do it today, um, regardless of what you know for healing or, or anything. But if you do know Reiki symbols, you can put them in the water before you drink it. But you can do the most simplest thing is put an intention. So get your glass of water and you can put an intention in it that you get whatever you need, whether that's healing, peace, whatever it is you need, you put that in the water or you ask what you need to be put in the water and then you drink it and it will help you, right? So what we're gonna do today, so what I do a lot of times is I'll just put my hand over it and I'll ask what I need and just send healing energy or whatever it is into the water. So let's do that now. Close your eyes, take a deep breath in. Exhale, not into the water. And then just put the intention that you get what you need. A lot of energy comes from our hands, so remember that. And then when it's done, drink the water. So you can do it for every glass of water that you have for the, out the day, right? You should probably be drinking a minimum of eight. Remember, we're 80% water. And so this is a good thing to do. This can help you a lot. Get the, what you need to help you out just by doing this. And what a simple thing. And it's, it's hard, and I'm going to say it's hard because it's hard to remember <laughs> what you need to do. Because um, I, I drink a lot of water every morning. Like, I forgot about it. I was doing it, and then I forgot about it. I got off track, and then I saw something this, this morning that reminded me of it. So look up Emoto and see his studies. He did a book and everything. It's very, very interesting. And you can see how even... Even they've prayed over the water, so the water that has the atomic spill in it, they've prayed over that water and they've changed the water just by praying over it. So praying, healing, sending energy, it's all the same thing. It's just in how you do it and what you believe. And so it's an amazing thing and he has studies to show that it helps. So imagine, and when they say, and I say this all the time, when you say, you know, we all pray, meditate, whatever, it makes a difference. It changes the energy. Okay, Sabina, just say what do I need to put your and your and put your hand in the water. You don't have to put it in the water. It's kind of above it, like you would be sending energy, um, or even holding on to it like this. And just say what do I need, or if you, there's something you feel like you need, you know, or if you just say you don't know what you need that day, like say you might need peace, or you're having anxiety, or you're having stress, um, ask for that, and then always ask for what you need, because we don't always know what we need uh, on an unconscious level. Yes, yep, yes, for sure. See if you know the symbols, go ahead and do it, and then ask for what you need, you know. It can be very healing, and it's an awesome thing to do. Um, so just remember that. Like, it's a simple thing to do before you have your water. And that's what, like, okay, so when they have, you know, a prayer for food, it's the same thing. You're praying over to get what you need from that food. So you can do that, too, and you can put healing energy on your food. It's the same thing. It's prayer, healing, meditating, whatever it is that you feel comfortable with using, they're all the same, right? And it will help you so much. And that's the thing that helps you be more mindful about your day, is when you start paying attention, like, and always just go about mindfulness. It takes practice, like, to do that stuff. But you keep doing this stuff, and then you're being mindful of everything you do, and then it keeps your mind from slipping into the monkey mind of stuff where you don't need to go. Of the stress and the anxiety and the, like, what about this, or what do I need about this? No, stay in the moment. 
pay attention to what you're doing, make these habits like this, it helps keep you in the moment to be doing what you need to do. So do this, drink your water, you can have it throughout the day. So if even if you make a little, a big mug of it or whatever, do this to all your water and drink it throughout the day. Or have it if you need a like quick fix, do it. If like you need some energy, ask to like to be, um, have some more energy to like go through the rest of your day rather than coffee, even do this, right? Everything is possible, so remember that. Remember that everything is possible. You can do whatever you want. It's just getting in the right mindset and holding it there because we've been pro programmed to not. And uh, I'm going to probably write an article on that pretty soon and I'll put it out there. I was going to talk about it, but I think I'd rather put it in an article and let people ask me questions about it because it's something I've been holding back from saying. So. <sighs> We've been programmed to not do this. So we want, we need to reprogram ourselves. Make that effort because there's times you're gonna forget, there's times you're not gonna remember, there's gonna be times you're gonna not wanna do stuff. It's like, oh, like the other day I got tired. It's like, well, why didn't I think to do this? Why didn't I think, like sometimes, sometimes you do need to rest, like don't get me wrong. But if you have things you have to do or you have to be at work, you have to do things, you've gotta like, you know, make the effort. Don't go about your day like, oh, I'm tired or what a, la, la. you're all grumpy and sad or whatever. Do stuff to change it. Make the effort. It takes work. These little things can help you. And it helps pull you out of that going down deeper and deeper and deeper into the depression or the sadness or the loneliness or whatever it is. Make the effort to change the things. And that's like the things I say at the end of all my talk talks. Do those. All these little things, they're easy, but we forget or we get bogged down and we're like, I don't want to. I want to sit in it. Because think about this too. Like when you're sad or depressed, like I do it, you want to sit in it. You just want to sit in it for a while for two reasons. One, it's what you know. And two is you feel like you're getting something from that. But in the end, you're just dragging yourself down more and more and more and you're staying there longer and longer and longer and it just doesn't feel good. See the difference for how it feels when you can bring yourself up and feel good, right? So do the water. If you're just getting on now, get a glass of water, go back and watch the beginning. It's, I'll, it'll be saved in a minute and do that, okay? So do that, drink your water. Let's start making changes, guys, because stuff's gonna start coming out and we need to be in the best possible place we are so we can handle it, all right? And that's what my article will be about. And you do it, be sure and drink it. You can have something that we're, you know, you're just sipping on it all day and it'll help. So try to remember to do it to all your water. It'll make a difference. So I have, I'm so excited, I'm doing the group healing program. It's going to start in September. It's three months working with me. It's in a group setting, so it's more affordable um, because I have the one-on-ones that I, the one-on-one -on -one programs that really dig deep and really get you well and get you on the right track to being able to stay where you need to be to keep yourself well, right? So that's gonna start in September and I'm really excited about that. It's three months working with me. I posted it yesterday. I will post it again sometime today. Um, so that's what I have going on coming up. I'm also going to do a post because I don't know that everybody knows everything that I do, but I will share that in a little while too. Um, so uh, maybe I'll do that one after this video. And then Wednesday Wellness is back this week. So I will be doing many healings on this Wednesday. Um, so come join me and I will do many healings on everybody. Not just a group healing, it'll be many healings. So come join me for that. That will be tomorrow night at 7 Eastern. And if you're interested in the group healing program, let me know. If you're really sick and you're really having trouble, you really need to do something like that to help you get well. I have just the one-on-one -on -one sessions and they're great, but you have already, it's better if you've already had the work. Um, done unless it's just little things you need here and there help with and a lot of people still come back to me and treat it like a massage for a healing because it's very relaxing and it helps them take time for themselves so now 
I want you to go do something you love, something that brings you joy, something that lifts you up. Sing, dance, watch a movie. Do at least one thing every single day. You've got to do these things to change your life, guys. You've got to make this effort. Don't just sit in the uck of whatever's happened to you or what's going on with you at the moment, right? Then do some self-care. Drink tea, Epsom salt bath, pray, meditate. Whatever it is for you, for self-care that you need, do it at least one every day. And then do look for the good in everybody. And when you see stuff that stands out, tell them. Tell them. Tell them and lift them up and lift you up. It makes such a big difference. And then every day write 10 things you're grateful for. Start doing this stuff, guys. It's going to make a difference. And then now add the water and the healing into the water or whatever intentions you have. Put it in the water. Water is very strong. And look up Emoto. Okay? All right, guys. Have a great day. I will be here tomorrow with Chalk Talk. And tomorrow night with the mini healings, Wednesday Wellness. So I'm really excited to be bringing that back again. So have a great day. Any questions, let me know and I would be happy to answer them on another Chalk Talk. All right, I won't use your name if you don't want me to, but I love the questions because then I know what you guys want help with, all right? Okay guys, I love you all, have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow.